Hey everybody, Ex -Nov Execution Godamu here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft. This is episode 41, and last episode we killed the Wither. As you can see, the beacon is up there. Um, I have done more, I will show you that in a moment, but let me just quickly go over some of the little things that I've done. This, I have no idea why I did this, I just did it because I thought it was funny. It's not really that practical. Um, I mean, you can still obviously click on it, but I just like to stand here and do some parkour onto it. If I can get on this damn chest, thank you. No, I didn't do it. Oh well. Um, I've swapped out my diamond boots for these feather falling boots. They're still here though. This is purely because I've been ender pearling a lot around. And um, because of the new animal physics, the animals are getting out, so I thought, screw it, and I just blocked this entrance off and the entrance over there until we figure out some way to sort it out but obviously all the animals are still here, they're all trying to get to something over there but they're all still here so that's not an issue, I've opened up all the gates and removed the pressure plates so they don't trigger everything uh, that's it for here, I'll quickly just show you up here um, because of this beacon we have a severe iron shortage right now um, Basically, as far as I can tell, we're only three more blocks away, which is 27 iron, from finishing this beacon. We could be more. I think we might be more, but uh, this is still currently set to speed. Obviously, if we had one more layer, I think it might actually be two, to be honest. But this has taken so much iron. I mean, I've been on three different caving trips between this ep last episode and this, and all of the iron has gone to doing that and each time I've got you know a good amount of iron so I'll show you how much we got left and that's only because I can't make a block out of it so yeah we're on an iron shortage at the moment but it's not the end of the world we did have a lot before but it's all up there and I'll keep going for that but today is something I've wanted to do for a really really long time and this that is a village now, as I always said, that I wanted to keep the villagers that we had from this village. Um, well, none of them exist anymore. Um, I think I killed most of them. Although, I think it was episode 12 or something that... No, it must have been later than that. One of the episodes, in, like about 20 episodes ago, I did find... is either here or here. I did find one of the testificates roaming around. But I can't seem to find them anymore. Um, so... I did block this off of it because I see the hole below but because I can't find him I can't continue to make this place a um, an actual village so eventually this village will actually be torn down um, and I know exactly where I want to build the new village it's a really nice little spot which I'll show you in a minute I just want to double check that I'm I'm pretty sure he's probably either walked off or been killed by zombies by now but yeah, we don't have them anymore, so what I'm going to do is build a new one. Now, I wanted to build a new one for ages, because I've wanted to, you know... I like the idea of having a village. Um, a lot of people do, to be honest. But yeah, we definitely don't have them anymore. I remember there's... I think it must have been this house. I blocked it off blocked off the entrance with sand, so they couldn't get out, but... Oh well. So yeah, we, this village is completely bare now. I may repopulate it, but I probably won't. Um, so, yeah, but I'm gonna t we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna keep talking. Uh, I'm gonna head over here um, to this amazing place, which I'm surprised I didn't think about it before. Um, to put a village. Now, I was headed. This is this direction is the most recent direction I went to go caving. Um, in all those caving trips, I haven't been going for diamonds. Um, Purely because my inventory is full up, but I did find a lot of um, iron, which obviously is all gone towards doing the beacons. Also, quickly while I think about it, um, my last few episodes have been really, sh uh, have been a lot shorter than I wanted them to be, and I really don't like that. So I'm hoping that I can make this episode a lot longer. Now look at this, isn't this amazing? I love that. I did post a picture of this on Facebook, by the way, and Twitter. But look at that. It would be amazing to have houses all around the edge of this. And don't think that this continues, because behind this um, lump of um, stone and dirt, it is literally just ocean. I mean, that is a lot. That is at least 2,000 block ocean. I went to the other end of it. 
I mean, look, that's it. This is my crafting table when I went out with the boat. I should bring that with me. So, yeah. Um, and just to quickly show you, so that I'm not lying, there was there is actually a cave in here. So, I followed it down. I think I got some iron out of this little place. And then it just stopped here, so I started to go down a little bit more to see if there's anything around, but there wasn't. So, this will probably become a building. I definitely want this place to become a building. But for now, I just want to get see if we can get a house and get villagers, like, breeding and stuff. So, I think... What I'm going to do is flatten everything down to this level. Um, and it's all going to be sand. So I'm going to take these little bits out here. And take out quite a bit of that dirt bit. And then once we're out of the dirt. I can then replace it with sand. So it's like, a, like an oasis type thing. I think this is a... Oh it's a beach biome. But there you go. So yeah I thought this place was brilliant. Really nice place. Um... By the end of today, I would like a couple of houses built, and what I actually plan to do is, um, I might actually do it in there, or on top, possibly, or over here. Um, I'm going to make a little villager breed section, I'm going to completely fence it off, and just put breeding houses in. Um, now, I'll show you how to do a breeding house when we get to it, but I would like to really stock up on some villagers before I let them around the town because obviously the town is going to take a little bit to um, fix up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The town is going to take a little bit to fix up and I don't want there to any be don't want there to be a way that the villagers can just stroll out before I let them in. So the plan is to sort of fix that up before I let them in. Now, this is purely for aesthetics as well as, um, you know, I can trade with them. Always be nice to trade with them. So, yeah, I've wanted to do this for a long time. Now, originally, this idea that we're doing now was going to be the use for that stack of TNT. I was going to do a completely underground village. Um, I think I may have thought a bit too big with that. Um, it would have taken me a long time to do. And recording wise there wouldn't have been much footage out of it. So I thought to save my time as well as, you know, having a crappy episode for you guys to watch. I thought this place would be a lot better for it. Um, this is going to annoy me if I don't replace it now. So yeah. I thought, I'm hopefully you guys are happy with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead back and get a couple more shovels. Probably stone ones. And I'll be back in a bit. And welcome back. So yeah, I've neatened that up, taken off a bit of this, put some sandstone stairs here. I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. I mean, this may 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 become bigger eventually. I've just cordoned it off and changed all the dirt out for sand. Not too much of an issue. So actually, I think this little bit here may become the breeding house for now. The only problem with this uh, whole villager thing is I will need to go out and transport villagers back here. Um, now I'm deciding between... I'm probably going to do it in the nether. Nether transportation. Um, purely because of the distance should be much shorter. But that's not what we're going to build right now. So... Basically, the idea of, bre of villager breeding is d d d doors, 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 and more doors. Um, the more doors you have, the more likely they are to breed. So as a suggestion, you sort of really spam down doors. Let me go grab my workbench. I don't want to waste more wood on another one. Um, I made a bed and brought it over here because it did get night while I was working. So let's bring it on over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go search for a village off camera. When I get to the village, I'll show it on camera. Uh, what have I got a lot of wood of? Jungle wood I'm not probably not going to use. So hang on, let's use the new mechanic. Five doors and that one. Uh, another one there, and there'll be another one there. 
I mean, that's actually a good point. Should probably just double the doors up like this. Um, there we go. I know you, you can shift click into the spaces you want. Like, hold shift and then press the number that it would be on the on your hotbar. I know it's only a breeding house, but make it look at least re respectable. And take out the floors. I know I'll get the doors in a minute. So yeah, I'm going to cordon this off with a fence. So the villagers can't escape once they've bred. Because obviously they'll want to be um, children or babies. Nope, no. Thank you. One more. Bam. Okay, so there we go. If I put torch there, torch there, torch there, and torch there. Now, did I bring them with me? I did. Good. I will need a fence gate. Hope you guys are enjoying watching me do this. Um, I, I'm never really sure whether you do or not. So what others? I'll have the uh, as far as I know, test certificates cannot use fence gates. So now, yes, I do. For those that do know, I know I can speed this process up by having more houses. But I've seen some of the, like the growth rates of test certificates, and they can go really fast with a lot of houses. And I mean really fast. So, the one should be plenty. Obviously, I can start off with two, and then it could just, they'll multiply onwards and onwards and onwards from that. Um, I will need to light it up because zombies will try to get to them. So, that will require ender pearls so I can get onto the roof. But yeah, this should be more than adequate. And while they're going, I can actually... Nope, that was wrong. Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> um, I can actually work on building their houses for them, so... It kind of works at the same time. Need more ender pearls. Okay. Ender pearl me onto the fence. You still didn't do it. <sighs> The point of having ender pearls is to make things easier. That just made things a lot harder. So yeah, I'm we're gonna I'm gonna go and sleep now. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to base and get some um, ten ob enough obsidian to make a portal. Um, I'm thinking actually. Because there's going to be no easy way to... The easiest way to transport the villagers will be in minecarts. So I'm going to need two portals. I need a portal here and a portal um, at the village that we end up going to. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to go farm some obsidian, get flint and steel ready. And I'll meet you guys at the village. And there's something good happens in between.
Right, so I thought I'd show this because it's probably fairly, it's pretty important. Um, it's going to be a good idea for me, let me just get it up, is to write down... Hopefully it's still recording, good. It would be for me to write down the coordinates in the nether. Um, I'm getting texts as well. This is. Uh, hang on a minute. I've lost my train of thought. Uh, in the nether coordinates for the uh, testificate portal. Because um, obviously I'm going to have to try and get back to it from the actual village portal. So let's. So obviously this is me making the portal here. Oh, really? It takes me back to this one? It takes me back to our main one. Right. Are they too close? Because that's going to be annoying because that means I won't be able to take them back completely. I won't be able to take them directly to... It makes it easier getting them back to the overworld. But it doesn't make, them easier, make it easy getting them to the actual testificate place. Huh. That's going to be annoying. I think a nether portal has a range of 8 chunks. I believe it's 8 chunks. So that means this portal's too close to my other portal. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Um, it just means it's going to take a long time for me to get them here. It's not the end, end of the world. I think we'll stick with it for now. Let me just get to my bed. So yeah, I'll meet you when we get to Testigoot Village. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Wow. I know we're not out caving, but Jesus, this is cool. I've gone so far out now, it's not even funny. 
The ocean biomes in my world are huge. I'm just looking for a plains or a desert biome and it's just like there's none around. Even in the nether this is going to be a hell of a long trip to bring these test certificates back. Oh, planes, 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 planes. All I want is a village. Uh, actually, I want two villages, please. Two villages, that's literally all we need. I don't actually have the carts with me, but that's because I thought that because I'd have to dig the path back to the actual house portal, that I might as well get grab the iron when we go back there. Or I'd have to, actually, I'm gonna have to grab some more because we just there isn't there isn't enough at the house. That's how low we are. And there's a desert nearby as well. That's handy. Good job. I'm <laughs> I've been recording the whole time, but it's a good job I'm actually recording it like a video now. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna have to. All right, that ends. Come on, I need a village. I should have done this a long time ago to be honest but I think after having the beacon I think it was probably the best time to do it just give me a sword out because I'm definitely going to need it I can't remember what's on it uh, looting and sharpness at least I'll die fast not that I need any zombie flesh for anything um don't know whether to go back and try and do that desert. I might do. Well, I thought I saw two. Golden skeleton. Might quickly check this desert. There's probably nothing in it, but I'm going to check it. Better safe than... A zombie killing himself on a cactus. Yeah, you can bugger off because skeletons are overpowered now. Seriously, they can fire so fast. Oh, come on, a village. To be honest, I don't even settle for just random villages. Just something. This is complete new gen, so give me a village. That's nice. I'm going to assume that there isn't a village here. I think it's probably safe to assume that. Yeah, we're going back to that snow biome I came through a while ago. Oh well. <coughs> Looks like we just keep going.
The ocean biomes in my world are huge and I have so many of them. This is literally like the fifth. I don't know. I don't know if I've showed this in a time lapse. I may do actually show this all in a time lapse, but this is got to be like the fourth or fifth ocean biome I've had to go through. It's re getting ridiculous now. What I keep seeing are these small pots of land, which don't mean anything to anyone whatsoever. I can't believe how big these ocean biomes are. They're huge. Literally huge. I haven't got large biomes on because when this world was generated, large biomes didn't exist. I'm probably going to stop the recording in a moment, um, purely for the fact that this file is going to get you too big. But. What I'm probably going to do guys, um, this probably goes against everything that I'd normally do, but I'm probably going to spawn in two villagers. Because this is getting ridiculous now. It's got to have been almost an hour. Well, coming up to an hour. Did I just lose that boat? No, I didn't. Good. And I keep finding these really small islands, like, I bet just over this little hill is the end of the island. Oh, there's a river. Oh, another mountain, okay. It's fine, just get me to a plains or a desert biome. Biome seriously considering just spawning in two villages and letting them breed from there. Because I don't want it, this to be too boring for me, and I don't want it to be too boring for you at all. <clears throat> More so you than me. Um, obviously, we only need two anyway, just so they can breed together. So I'm thinking that might be a viable option, if that's okay with you, guys. Unfortunately, it's going to be all done in this video, so whatever you two guys choose, I'm afraid it's going to be done anyway. Um being a bit of a pain because this is all snow biome I swear like they default to large biomes now because these are huge could be at least like five to six hundred blocks and no another ocean again all right I'm going to go back and spawn them in, guys. I'll see you in a moment. Alright, and welcome back. So, we're back here. Took me a while to get back, I have to say. Um, I'm probably going to keep this nether portal here for now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just purely for its convenience. So, I've given myself these two spawn eggs. Um, here we go. Here we go. That's it. We cannot lose them. So hopefully they will actually breed. I'm going to breed my bed over here. And I'm going to watch them for a little bit and make sure they actually make a baby. So we know it's working. And Bob's your uncle, really. And then next episode we will start working on houses and stuff like that. Um, this is taking me a lot longer to actually record than I thought it would. So sorry if it's too short for you guys. It shouldn't be, hopefully. Not with all the... Um, the time lapse and the footage in between and stuff like that so hopefully it's not the end of the world for you guys so yeah I'm gonna oh, that squid is drowning itself how are we doing villagers yeah all good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on this hill and see if I can get any action out of them other than that I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna wait. This will probably be sped up for you guys to see if they should do anything. So, see you in a minute.
Guys, it's working. It's working! We're getting a baby. I'll show you what I was doing in a minute, but I was busy doing it and the heart started to fly. Is that it? Did you finish? Hmm, so yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm extending it out one more block. I'm going to chuck that there. Because I need a couple more fences. So that's going to have to go there. And being, actually, it doesn't have to go there, but... Awesome. Okay, so I don't actually know if we have a baby yet, but we saw the hearts. Oh, there's the hearts going again. Let's go to sleep. <clears throat> so we're doing a little bit of reading up on the wiki. So I'm hoping... Did I interrupt? I'll leave you guys to it, I'm sorry. Jesus. Didn't think you'd be so picky. See if we can. We'll wait for this little kid to be running around. I want to make sure that. I mean, I know the breeding's happening. I can see the hearts. Um, I think they're doing it now, actually. But I haven't seen the baby. So maybe we'll get a baby soon. Alright, don't fight over the door. There's a door right next to it. Is something happening? Sort of. Either one of them's really confused or Come on, it's simple. Then you go to like sex ed. It's like they just sort of give up halfway through. But yeah, I did read that um, reloading the world helps, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Seems we have a door spammer. Stop spamming doors! You door spammer. Come on, you guys, do stuff. Get jiggy with it. Should that work? Get jiggy with it. So yeah, guys, we'll see how well they do in the next episode. This is this last bit has been very sort of like sit still and watch. So thank you very much for watching episode 41 of the One for One of Minecraft. We're gonna get back to this episode 42. We're gonna have lots of kids. See you next time.